Students and staff at UCO in Edmond protesting planned budget cuts that reportedly include getting rid of several professors. RIP 53! That was earlier this week. Students protesting on campus, then the next day holding a sit in. Tonight, we're hearing from the university president. News 4's Austin Brissett has the new information. UCO's president responded to Wednesday's protest talking points, addressing information that she says wasn't correct after students marched across campus and delivered a letter to her office expressing several concerns. Just days after students took the campus sidewalks Wednesday, making their way to university president Patty Newhold's office, the president responding in a short video addressing student concerns on their multi-million dollar budget deficit and potential cuts of 40 plus university positions. The fact that it has come to this point uh, shows the lack of care in our administration, uh, the lack of transparency and the gross mishandling of our budget. I heard some information that was not correct and I want to address that quickly. Newhold saying there was a number shared with her claiming 53 positions were being eliminated. She says the only number that has been shared was quote 40 plus full time equivalent faculty positions. There has not been an exact number determined yet. Students reacting to her response on Friday. There needs to be a, a much more clear response to the actual people that are being affected. If they get cut, like, it's a big disappointment. University officials have blamed declining long-term enrollment on the budget issue, citing a near 17.5% decline over five years, and job cuts are only one area being considered to fix it. In one academic year, we lost 8.9%, which equates to 50 full-time equivalent faculty. The impact that faculty have on encouraging students and mentoring them and getting them into professions is um, immeasurable. In Edmond, Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4.